I'm scared of my fingers. Surprisingly enough, that held a lot more than I thought. What's going on everyone? Today's episode, we're gonna focus on this metal hot glue gun. And for all of us welders that can't get those welds to stick. We've got four pieces prepped and tacked together. We've got three of them that are prepped for T-joints. And we're gonna show different variables as far as how not to let them stick. But we left one with the mill scale on it and we went ahead and put on some cold galve sprays. Cause anytime you try to weld over rust or paint or mill scale, it could get you some lack of fusion problems. I've got my respirator, I got my MIG gun, I've got my 035 wire coming through here. We're gonna start with our first variable, probably the obvious one, which is your volts and amps aren't correct for the material thickness you're working with. Now machine settings are absolutely duper crucial. We've got our machine set to the 7525 mix mode. There's some other features on this machine, like inductance that you should be aware of. It's kind of like an arc force for your stick where it'll soften or crisp in your arc. Uh, the manufacturer for these that for most fillet welds is somewhere on like past 50%. It'll give a, a crispy weld. Then we're gonna be looking at the pre fo post fo start wire feed, end wire feed. I keep those pretty low. If you have them too high, they'll start stabbing right away and we wanna get that puddle started, maybe some up or down slope. Not a lot of machines, again, won't have these features. So if you don't have anything like this, just really just focus on your volts and your amperage. This is a constant voltage process, okay? So you're gonna be setting your voltage instead of your amperage. However, your wire feed is also considered your amperage. So it could deal a lot with your penetration. Very first one we're gonna weld is gonna be on some lower settings. So this one, I'm gonna start turning it down closer to 17 volts. And we're gonna also run this down. Again, this is also gonna be considered your amperage. I'm gonna run that down closer to 170. Even though we've got really good prep, our polarity is right. If we're just running too cold, it's gonna be a big issue. If you have a, a machine that just has those number knobs on them and it's only hooked up to 110 and not 220, I just recommend turning it all the way up, baby. Turn it all the way up. Honestly, I've made some worse welds in my day. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go over to the machine, turn our volts wire feed speed back up, switch our polarity over inside the machine, change our ground over, and bring over that other coupon. We'll look at all these when we're done with them. 